He's running away when all of a sudden, intercepted. A dog walker tackled the suspect fleeing from police to the ground. His sweet dog looks on as officers step in and take over. It happened in Queensland, Australia. It all started about a minute earlier. Police were trying to apprehend the suspect in a white pickup truck they said he stole. But he drove away. The suspect then races the wrong way down roads, nearly striking oncoming cars, weaving through lanes, eventually abandoning the vehicle when police said a tire deflation device was deployed. He starts running over a bridge when he meets his match, a dog walker wearing flip-flops who takes him down. Police say the driver was charged with unlawful use of a motor vehicle and they're looking for the quick-thinking dog walker to commend him for a job well done. A lot of us were in were in that building, and you know he he stopped him in the lobby. There were a lot of shotgun shells on the ground. It looked like he was planning to go the distance, and John stopped him. I had to give that security props. He was pretty brave. Dramatic video of a mother and son and their dog being rescued from the Long Beach Marina Saturday afternoon. Jeff Perez jumped into the water and helped the family. And no sooner did I hop in the water, um, the lifeguard captain was handing over the older lady to me. This is security video from Seacoast Yachts. You can see the truck in the parking spot, then going right through the railing and into the water. They just came barreling right through. I turned around and I just, you know, it's just one of those things. Jeff Jones took the cell phone video of the rescue. He also ran over to the lifeguard station to get help. He says it all happened so fast. Hurry up. But he says rescuers had to move quickly as the truck was starting to sink. It was very hectic. You know, the fire trucks came, the, the, the local uh, Marine Patrol came, and, you know, it just got pretty chaotic pretty fast. And for this good Samaritan, he too did what he could. He said he would jump in the water again to help save someone. Church service. The violence unfolding just minutes before 10 a.m., just as parishioners started receiving communion at the West Freeway Church of Christ near Fort Worth. The church live streaming the service. You can see the shooter sitting in the back of the room wearing a large coat. Watch as he pulls out a gun and aims it at a man nearby. Another man appears to reach for his weapon, but the gunman fires first, shooting him and a second man. We're going to need help with patient care. The gunshots sparking panic in the pews. Worshippers seen ducking for cover. One man covering his wife with his own body. It was a sad thing that he had to come into that congregation and hurt people, and it's a sad thing that we had to hurt him. In just seconds, several parishioners opened fire, hitting the gunman, who managed to fire one last shot before falling to the ground dying at the scene. There are two people that were shot and they died at a local hospital. Several others hurt, one critically. The gunman also shot dead. Today, evil walked boldly among us. But let me remind you, good people raised up and stopped it before it got worse. Oh my God. As thousands were fleeing the horrific fire in the town of Paradise, California, Dane Cummings was driving toward the flames. My route manager called me and he told me to get the hell out of there and told me the fire was coming. 
But this lone garbage collector was on a mission, checking on the 50 elderly residents along his route. It was a race against time. It just kept getting worse and more hectic, more people were coming out. On his final stop, Dane found 93-year-old Margaret Newsom stranded at her home. She was recovering from a broken back and had no way to get out. So here comes this great big green monster down the road. <laughs> it was her buddy in a supersized garbage truck. Turns out Margaret always had a sweet spot for Dane. He always got my special platter of cookies, candy, and pumpkin bread. Now Dane was returning the kindness. He carefully loaded Margaret into his truck, and they raced off as flames tore through town. Margaret, a former backup singer for Frank Sinatra and Sammy Davis Jr., had seen a lot in her long life, but nothing like this. It was like we were entering in the bowels of hell. Dane says he was initially worried about giving a passenger a ride. It's against company policy. You were nervous you'd get in trouble. Yes, I was. They didn't dare get mad at him. <laughs> no, Margaret. they wouldn't get mad at him anyway. In the three years that Darnell Barton has been driving a Metro bus, he's met all kinds of people. But a young lady who he came upon one recent Friday afternoon, he will never forget. Driving the Elmwood 20 bus southbound toward Buffalo State College, this on-bus surveillance shows the lady standing on the narrow ledge outside the railing over the Skajakwit Expressway. Ma'am, are you okay? And it didn't seem real because of what was going on around. You know, the traffic was going as normal, you know, pedestrians going by as normal. Ma'am, are you okay? She was, she was distraught. She was distant. She was real, really disconnected. I grabbed her and, um, I grabbed her arm and I put my arm around her and I said, do you, do you want to come on this side of the guardrail? And um, that was actually the first time she actually spoke to me. She said, yes. Darnell does believe it was fate. It was meant to be. I, I was supposed to be there uh, for her at that moment, and, and I was. I wanted to convey that, you know, whatever it was, I'm going to, we're going to help you through whatever it is. And it's not as serious as jumping onto the 198. The attack can be seen from several different angles. The dog going straight for six-year-old Mason Lindemann, who was playing in the driveway. My son, he was just laying on the ground. I mean, he's six. Like, he, he kind of knows what to do, but he's never been put in a situation like that. Jillian Lindemann, Mason's mom, says she could hear the screams. Grant Brown, their 19-year-old neighbor, happened to be outside. As soon as I noticed, I just ran over there without thinking, and... I didn't know how, but I knew I had to get the dog off of the boy. In the video, he can be seen running directly towards the dog. The pit bull eventually focuses in on Brown, giving Mason a chance to run inside. All I see is my son running up to me, and he's got, you know, his hand on, on his head, and there's blood coming down and everything. Mason was bitten on the back of his head, the cut requiring several staples. He also has several bruises on his face. Brown was injured as well. In the video, he can be seen running back to his house, the dog throwing him to the ground. I looked back and my shoes came off. I tripped and fell. The dog was on top of me before I knew it. And I knew that I had to keep his mouth away from me. Brown has a cut to his hand, but will be okay. Seriously, take a look at this. A mother crossing the street in Phoenix, Arizona, pushing a stroller. You see the stroller right there. She has the signal to cross. The oncoming traffic waits for her, but watch what happens when that driver just runs that light, coming right at her, only missing her and the baby because another car sped up to get in the way. Thankfully, everyone is okay. That driver who ran the red light, police say he was drunk. <laughs> Hey, 
是我当时喝冰激凌，包里不会，不要喝那个生态，是吧？都喝了。往外吐，往外吐，没事，吐。The gray-haired grandpa was in sports in a sports betting shop when three men tried to stage a robbery. Take a look at your screen. O'Connor went after one of the guys with a gun, beating him up, and then rescued the office manager from men wielding hammers. The three would-be robbers ran off with O'Connor shouting after them, "You're cowards! Total cowards!" O'Connor may be 85, but he does say he works out at a gym and swims several times a week. Everybody on y'all phones, though. All y'all, y'all the real cowards. Record that too. Everybody on the phone, record that. Coward. Everybody recording on the phone. Real coward. Ain't cool, man. Y'all in the middle of the street, huh? Look, she's smiling and laughing. They laughing. Look, he laughing. He got a big smile on his face, little bro. He got a big smile on his face. Look at your man right here. It's supposed to be your man. He dying. He can't look. He can't even laugh. Look, look, school. Look at the. Listen, that. Look, they all laughing, little bro. But you really upset. And you really upset. You more mad than he is. I can see it in your face. So you fighting for a reason. He only fighting you because you want to fight him. Cause you no, mad. He came to me. He texted me. So, so you. So oh, you, some shit. I don't even know. So you defending yourself. Yeah. I don't right, know so, what's going so on. look. So I look, little bro. So you in the right. You defending yourself. My thing is, look at the trick of the devil. Who ill advised you? Look around. Who ill advised you? Who told you wrong? Who told you wrong? You don't gotta answer that. I'm saying, who told you wrong though, little bro? And the only reason I'm saying this to all y'all, yo, cause y'all almost men. All of y'all, yo. Y'all almost men. Y'all ain't kids no more. Hey, yo, you. I know where you from. I know where you from. Humble beginnings. Your mom and dad worked hard to get where they at, yo. They worked hard to get where they at, yo. I'm telling y'all, yo. Little bruh, your dad doing life. You think it's a game out here? Ain't no game out here. It's real out here, little bruh. Y'all playing games, yo. Stop playing games, man. Bruh, shake hands, bruh. Shake hands, yo. <laughs> Yo, shake hands, yo. Like, why so you like me, I'm leaving. I ain't leaving, bro. Y'all don't shake hands, bro. I'm not leaving, bro. Put your hand back out, bro. He gonna shake it this time, I promise you. Put your hand back out, bro. He gonna shake it, bro. Y'all be good, bro. Tell me. A stabbing suspect with blood-stained clothes and a knife ran through the streets of Sydney, Australia and everyday people teamed up to take him down. We just continue to chase the guy. Using chairs and a milk crate, several people were able to pin the suspect to the ground until authorities could arrive. But anger was in the air. Hey, people, you just stabbed you, dog! Huh? Stop, 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 stop. You're not killing me right now. Time I was watching TV with the wife over here in the house. I heard like two trains colliding. That's what it sounded like. The Ford Explorer was on its side, sandwiched between a Cadillac and another SUV. Quinones and his neighbors started pouring out of their homes helping the victims when all of a sudden this grandfather of 14 could hear the faint sounds of a young girl crying for help. And I could hear her cry and yelling for her mother and father. To hear a baby cry like that breaks your heart. The girl's mother was knocked out, curled up in a ball near the front seat of the flipped SUV. The toddler was trapped in her car seat in the middle of the crumpled vehicle. I found the baby dangling or hanging on her car seat, in the middle seat. She was trapped to it. And considering that there was the very strong smell of gasoline, I started working with her right away. Fearing the vehicle could explode at any moment, he reached through broken glass and twisted metal to remove the child. I was telling her in Spanish, uh, like I call her sweetheart, mamita, don't worry, I'm not going to live here without you.